motherfuckers is popping. Brooklyn caught her. That's not my fear. Shout out my whole team. Nina, Clip, Sunny, KO, Explicit, everybody, the whole movement, the whole family, Aunt Lizzie. Love day, bed. I want to give y'all niggas my boss today. Hold on. Yeah, I just want to give y'all niggas my recap, man, real quick, real fast. You know what I mean? I'm not even going to keep y'all long, whatever. You know what I mean? There's always the same story. There's always the same shit with these niggas. Carter lost, clearly. Blase, blase, blase. But these niggas cannot n never tell me what new have these niggas said to me. And it's not taken away from none of these niggas that I ever battled, but... At a certain point, it's like, when are you going to say something new? <laughs> you, you hear the same shit. PG this, PG that, from the niggas that ain't never even get one half the time. Or niggas that ain't even as far as you in the game. That's what it is. I, 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 me coming up that battle, I just feel like there's a lot of animosity within the, within the We Go Hard crowd. Like, towards me, I guess it's because I don't fuck with niggas. I don't be in niggas' faces. I'm not the friendly type of nigga or whatever the case may be because it got to a point where I just started not being in the crowd. You feel me? I, I chill. I'm in the corner. I'm relaxing. I'm macking. I'm in my own zone. Like, I think that's that rubbed off on people the wrong way. And the fact that I don't go up to niggas smiling, going up to niggas giving niggas daps and shit like that, that all takes away from, from your battle. Trust me and believe that I know what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? But Ish, Ish definitely came and did his thing. You know what I mean? I wasn't surprised at all. It, it was just it was just the same shit. Like, I, I can't... You know what I mean? It's the same shit. Brooklyn this, Carter that, PG this. It was nothing really... It was nothing really new that was said. Now... My whole perspective on what I was saying, which was getting no reactions, was I don't really care about reactions. I don't judge battles off of reactions. I'm a thinker. You feel me? I catch on to shit that really lingers in your mind. Niggas don't let shit linger in their mind. They just want to catch it right then and there. If you want to catch it right then and there, that's fine. But it's, it's shit that got to linger. I like the shit that lingers in, in your mind that you can fuck with, you can play with. And, and shit that, that, that intrigues you, you feel me? It stimulates your intellect, you feel me? I, I, I like shit like that. I was talking to that nigga, he died. Like, I feel like he died. Like, if you ask me, I honestly feel like he died. Like, word to everything. Because if you look at the whole round within the whole and actually remember what's being said, I, I, I actually said what happened. I actually said what happened. I, I told niggas how I felt. And that's that was the turnout of the battle. I told niggas I didn't care. I told niggas I did this for the bread. I told niggas that even if he do manage to do something in this round, it won't count because it's a one-rounder. Everything I said happened. You know what I mean? And I feel like I was talking to a bunch of people. You feel me? I wasn't just talking to Ish when I was rapping, too. You feel me? Because there's a lot of people that's an Ish predicament that that didn't come over to We Go Hard not only by the being clip cosign, but there's other niggas that, that's, that's wandered over here. There's other niggas that got adopted over here. There's niggas that, that fucking found their way over here. There's niggas that begged their way over here. You feel me? It's a bunch of niggas that fit in that category when I said when I say shit that I say. You feel me? But like I said, it ain't nothing taking nothing from Ish. He he did he did what what Ish does. I just it just wasn't impressive to me. But it, I guess.
He definitely had some fire. But I just feel like the shit I be saying is more deeper than what niggas be really... You know what I mean? I don't really want to give away too much shit. I don't want to pinpoint bars and shit, but... You know what I mean? It's, it's certain shit that just be wow, undeniable. And when you see it, when you see it actually being denied, you just be like, it leaves you with that wow face. Like, hold on, are y'all serious? But then you just keep rapping. Yeah, you know I mean, you keep rapping. But that that's just how it goes. If we go hard, like you feel me. Everybody got their day. Everybody got when. Niggas wanna fuck with you. You feel me? That's how it is. That's how it go. Am I mad? No. Does this take anything away from me? No. Because I told niggas. I made it a one-rounder for a specific reason. You feel me? And I'm I'm also kind of glad that I made it a one-rounder because People don't be appreciating the shit that niggas do that they don't know about behind the scenes. You feel me? And that's exactly why certain niggas be hesitant to come back home and, and do certain shit because they feel like niggas don't be appreciating certain shit. Niggas don't understand the sacrifices that certain niggas be making. You feel me? Like, I'm not the nigga to take to make no excuses at all. Like, I come to rap. I came to rap. You feel me? But at the same time, my nigga, don't ask for niggas to come somewhere or beg niggas to be somewhere and niggas don't appreciate shit. Niggas don't never come on time. Again, like, if I come to an event, like, if I'm on a card, on the next card, the next card I'm on, like, if niggas ain't on time, I'm just not gonna rap at all. You feel me? Like, niggas ain't gonna sit here and make time limits and make times for niggas to come in and niggas don't come in until, like, 8.30. And then you sit there and you battling one o'clock in the morning. And then niggas do another battle right after that too. So it's like, yeah, you know I mean, there's a whole bunch of shit that goes on to 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 performance. I was kind of tired. I was high, but I still did what I had to do. I still did what I felt like I told what I set out to do. I feel like I accomplished that. Niggas' ears should be open now. You feel me? As far as we go hard and where where we stand and where we come from, you feel me? I said some shit that should have opened everybody's ears and eyes, you feel me? Like, the, the, the way certain niggas go hard for we go hard, that this wasn't even the original league, you feel me? You got niggas that's coming from... Ah, 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 going more harder on We Go Hard than they own league. That was my whole purpose. You know what I mean? Is to open, open the, they niggas' eyes. That's all I do. I, I, I don't care about nothing else. But like I said, anybody got any questions or whatever, like, y'all can ask some shits. I know me, man. I'm not on sit here arguing win. I'm not arguing the win. I'm not arguing the loss. I'm just stating the facts and what's been what's what's really being put out there. I be I be going into these battles really hoping to hear something new. I don't hear nothing new. It snapped. You was there. You was there. Let me know some of the shit he was saying. Ish was regular ish. To say a nigga snapped is what? Niggas feel like a nigga snapped because I wasn't getting no reactions. Nah. <laughs> Of course, I, I'm always gonna say what niggas are scared to. Y'all you know I mean, I've I've been said it. Niggas, niggas, 
niggas take the dislike for niggas and put that on when niggas is rapping. If I don't like you, this don't have nothing to do with rapping, you feel me? I'll still react to your bars. Niggas that take shit like that because a nigga don't fuck with you or a nigga's not friendly with you or a nigga don't conversate with you as much or a nigga don't roll you up and shit like that. Niggas take shit like that or niggas that take a nonchalant attitude or, or because you don't fuck with them. Niggas that take that into the battle or into the crowd. You feel me? With that same energy. I, I just, I can't. I can't. I can't. Like I said, it was it's certain shit. It be mad shit that's undeniable. Hold on. My fault, y'all. Like I said, it be mad shit. It be mad shit that be undeniable and niggas just be standing there stagnant. You know what I mean? And 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 to me, I, I don't really, I don't really care, but to me, I'd rather, if that's the case, I'd rather continue traveling. If I'm going to get that at home, you feel me? If, if I'm going to feel away at home, you know what I mean? Niggas like to play the favorite games. I don't, I don't care. I don't partake in none of that shit. That shit, none of that shit exists to me. But as far as the um the card, um, you had Henny versus Bubba. Henny three versus Bubba. I gave that to um. Henny three. I know my bar. I know I know my bars were still hitting, bro. I know. Like this is this is the crazy part. L listen to this. This this same shit happened when I battled Gwitty. I got one reaction, and that was from that paper shit. You feel me? This this same shit happened when I battled Franchise and We Go Hard. You know what I mean? It's the same shit. It's always the same shit with me. You feel me? Niggas is always going to say, I lost. I got killed. It was clear. And then when it dropped, and I and you not, mind you, I never say, Watch the footage. I never say wait to the footage. I never play those games. I want in the building. I want on camera. You feel me? I never say that. Just when it come out, you always hear other people say that. But you don't never hear me say that. Because I don't really care about no wins or losses. You feel me? I came to get my shit off and say what I needed to be said and what what niggas don't be saying. Like I said, I say shit niggas scared to. And what I said to Ish Moolah, no, nobody else would ever say that to him. Niggas don't talk to niggas how I talk to niggas. He was rapping to me. I was chatting and rapping. That was the difference. He was just rapping. I was chatting and rapping. You feel me? There's a, is a, is a, is a, is a difference. There's a difference. I was chatting and rapping. He was just rapping. If niggas want to say he was more direct because he mentioned my name more, that's cool. But being direct doesn't always have to be a name flip. The whole context behind a bar, behind the whole round was about him and niggas like him. That's, that's all I got to say about that. You feel me? I'm not mad. I'm not nothing. It is what it is. I'm going to still come do what I need to do. Don't nobody opinion affects my work, uh, my work ethic, and how I, where I'm at and where I'm going with this shit, or none of that. I'm not going to stop doing what I'm doing. Like, no, I definitely wasn't talking through his rounds, so cut it out, cut it out. I don't I don't talk through niggas rounds. That's one thing I don't do. I laughed. I laughed one time. I don't talk through niggas rounds. That's one thing I don't do. You're just mad. You're just mad. It is what it is. 
Like I said, it's a, it's a, it's a bunch of, it's gonna be a bunch of people saying I lost clear. This ain't nothing new for me. That's why I just, this shit don't, it don't phase me. This ain't nothing new for me. Nah, I wasn't even, I wasn't even meditating, bro. I was just, I was just out of it. Like, niggas don't, like, like I said, I don't make excuses, bro. But, like, I didn't, because I was at the event, I didn't take my medication that I was supposed to take. So, I'm just sitting there. I'm chilling. I'm relaxed. You feel me? That's all it is. You know what I mean? That's, that's why I'm how I am now. You feel me? I, I have to take certain shit every day at a certain time taking battles and shit going to these events that shit fucks up the whole schedule i'm chilling you feel me i was out of it actually by the time niggas even got up now i know i wasn't spitting no trash like but 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 listen listen to me Listen to me, niggas will make you feel like you were spitting trash. If 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 I wasn't who I was or if I didn't have the mindset that I had, niggas will actually have you feeling like, yo, I was spitting some trash. Nah. To me, I feel like I was spitting some more thought out shit than he was. That's all. I feel like the shit he was saying was just right there for niggas. The shit I was saying is more in depth. You feel me? It was more in depth. They put a glove versus a mitten. So what I'm a mitt like, you feel me? It's more in depth what I was saying. If I wouldn't accept you, they'd neglect you. It's more than what niggas. It's more than just the bars. You feel me? Is a, it's more in depth. Like I said, when I'm not, I'm not a footage nigga, but. It was some shit. I always give some niggas some shit to think about. Like I said, I wasn't battling the nigga. I was talking to the nigga. I was talking to him and niggas like him. Everybody that generates two we go hard. Off a cosign or not a cosign. That fail to go harder in their league than they do. And they go hard and we go hard. Excuse me, y'all. Yeah, but like I said, man, like, it is what it is. You ain't going to catch everything right then and there. That's the type of time I be on now. There's certain shit you could catch right then and there, certain shit that you just, it just take time to, to weigh on you. I don't care about wins or losses. My whole purpose is to be heard. That's all. Niggas just say whatever they want about Carter. I'm good. I'm chilling. Shout out to We Go Hard. Love Day continues. It's today. That shit is actually up the block. Around the corner from me. I don't even know the address, but it's on Malcolm X. Pull up. Show out. It, it definitely, it definitely be like that. It be like that a lot of times. That's, that's another reason why you don't be seeing me do interviews. I do my own interviews now. You see me? You probably see a recap from Hip Hop Is Real come from him or some shit like that. I do my own shits now. You know what I mean? So niggas know, like, my, my opinion is not never going to change. Like, go back. My opinions never change about anything I say. Like, it is what it is. You can't, it's never gonna be a hundred percent of niggas that's gonna say that you won. That's just that. 
That's why I don't care about when niggas say I lost. I don't care if the majority of we go hard say I lost. Like, y'all niggas is not the majority of my fans. Y'all just we go hard. But I can't tell niggas nothing, though. You feel me? Niggas trying to still fight for approval of them niggas. I don't need to seek approval. I'm good. I'm Brooklyn Carter. I meet everywhere. But yeah, pull up. Love day. It continues. Um, hopefully, City give y'all some exclusives this, this week. You know what I mean? Keep checking on that. Because you know City definitely be playing the battles over live. So just stay tuned, and y'all get this party see an um, exclusive if y'all didn't um, purchase the pay-per-view. Oh, nah, that Nate Pump, that was some, he was he was quoting some some of my old shit. That was some old shit that I, that I had there. Yeah, go over there. Go back in the room. That was some old shit that I did. But, you know what I mean, what's good, Kaleem, you know what I mean? What's good to everybody? Like I said, I, I said what I, what I really needed to say. Like, I'm not here to make excuses. I'm not here to convince niggas of anything. Like, I, like if niggas want to sit here and say niggas is number one in the face of, of a fucking, of a league that never had a face or never had no levels, like, no real ranking system to it and put ranking systems to it hey that's that's y'all that shit never existed to me i mean the army is the army like i said we move as one this is not one individual that represents the army when when they can say we go hard a picture of ish doesn't pop up that's what i'm trying to make clear the niggas basically you feel me but yeah let me finish recapping it i gave um between henny and um bubba i gave i, I edged it to henny um stacks and titanium i gave that to um stacks Yeah, it's definitely a visible scorecard. You feel me? Niggas feel like niggas want to be on your side when it's when it's in their favor. You feel me? When you going against one of theirs, it's like you the op. But then once you they see you on a on a big card or some shit, niggas want to pop out and be your bros. That shit never made no mind to me. I'm good. Like that's why I, niggas move how we move. Um, but yeah, like I said, I gave that to, um, Sax. Um, the next battle after that, I think, was, uh, Mo Mula and Farah. I gave that to, um, Mo Mula. You know what I mean? I can't really tell y'all niggas if, if shit was, um, clear or what was what. You know what I mean? Because I don't be remembering niggas bars i don't really be remembering a lot of shit but i know who i felt one you feel me um stumbles and b trills that was probably if you ask me that was probably one of the battles of the night both of them niggas the both of them niggas was them niggas was cooking man both of them niggas was cooking like, if you really ask me, that was low-key battle of the night. Like, them niggas was cooking. Um, what was next after that? You had, um, Clip and Ox. Clip and Ox. I got Clip. You know what I mean? I already, oh, I, you already late, bro. I already explained all of that shit. I, I ain't gonna really... Explain this shit again, but you could definitely watch this shit again. You know what I mean? I appreciate it. Because I don't really want to go back for the people that was already tuned in from the jump. But, um, the next battle after that was 
the two on two with um, New Jersey Twerk and Lou Castro versus Hayes and um, Chase Banks. Um, that's a fact. Good luck, G's. That was a good battle too. Like for real, for real. I thought I thought New Jersey was gonna play around. Not I wasn't. I didn't really think he was going to play around, but I thought he was going to at least take this shit kind of light, being that he already had two previous battles. What's up? All right, hold on. But that was a good battle. I think I edged that one to um to Chase and Hayes. They definitely, I felt like they, I felt like they shit was um more... In sync, then Jersey and Lou Castro, and then I think it's at one point Lou Castro was fucking up, and I think um New Jersey had to save him, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, I gave that to um Hayes and Chase. Then you had uh, uh Steams and True versus Chess and um Zeus. Now that was another crazy battle too. That that's that's another battle tonight. Like stumbles and that two on two right there was probably toss up between battle tonight because I thought Steams and True, Chess and Zeus, I thought they all was gonna not be serious with each other. And I thought we wasn't going to hear what we was going to get to hear. And at the same time, if niggas be tuned into the podcast, I thought that Zeus and Chess and Steams and Mozzie wouldn't sound together. I, I, I thought they wouldn't sound right together, being that we already heard how Chess and Steam sound. You feel me? But it was great. It was actually great. Like, it was actually great. I, I, it's some shit that I, I rather wouldn't have seen on camera between cakes on cake, like, but sometimes you, I guess you need that, or you gotta do that, you, you know what I mean? But it was definitely a good battle. Um, I think I edged that to, damn, that was a crazy battle. I think I might have to edge that to um Chess and Zeus. I think I think um Chess and Zeus was um more creative. Yeah, that that's I don't I don't like that shit neither. You feel me? Shit like that. I feel like niggas could take those same rounds and did it behind doors or some shit. But hey, you know what I mean? I I don't know what what was the um real shit behind this, but it was definitely a great battle. It was definitely a great battle. It was definitely no punches held. You know what I mean? But um um it was a it was a I think it was another battle, but I I had left after my battle because it was already like. 1.30 or some shit like that. Going on 2 o'clock right here. So I, I left after my battle. I'm so thirsty. <laughs> Yo. The juice is over there. You got steams and true. I'm not mad at I'm not mad at you. I just felt like Chess and Zeus was a little more creative. And me, I like creativity more, like more so than just bars, you feel I me? Mean? Cause they definitely True and Steam definitely had had more bars. But I feel like bars is always gonna be there. It's creativity that separates a lot of people. You feel me? 
because they can't think outside the box. And that's just me. That's the same way I feel about my battle. Like, I was saying shit that niggas ain't, ain't say. Niggas ain't fathom to think about. But it is what it is. Can't say nothing, can't take nothing away from niggas. Shout out to Ish, shout out to Golden Squad. Shout out my whole team. Shout out Nina, y'all gonna see her in two weeks. Cinco de Mayo. If pull up, show support. And then we got June 10th. I think June 10th. We got me versus Ford Al 40 Cal. I mean, it's gonna basically be the same shit. You know what I mean, I'm gonna come out that battle. Niggas gonna say the same shit. And then, the summer, we're gonna do the same shit. You know what I mean, like, this shit ain't nothing new, man. This shit ain't nothing new, man. If it was up to these niggas, man, I done lost every battle, man. But yet, somehow, the numbers. When you start talking numbers, niggas talk about some, they don't matter. But if you're losing every battle, who's watching you? If you're trash, then who's watching you? You feel me? That's why I don't understand when niggas say niggas want to talk numbers of this, that, and the third, that, that. But if you're this and that, who's watching you? You know what I mean? It got to be a reason why niggas is watching me. It got to be a reason why niggas is still calling me. It got to be a reason, you feel me? Niggas say certain shit and then don't even know what they be talking about. And I just let niggas, I just let niggas believe it because it don't make, it don't make no sense for me to even sit there and argue about it. It don't make no sense for me to argue about it, you feel me? Niggas ask me all the time, niggas ask me all the time, though, who do you want, who you got on your list? I don't have nobody, I don't think about niggas. That's why niggas offer me the names that I get offered when it comes to URL and shit. Because I don't, I don't, I don't have no, and when I did, niggas wanted to act like hove when they the one who called me out first. You feel me? And that was the whole Mike P situation thing was about. But, I mean, there's no here nor there. Everybody know what they talking about until they don't. I mean, so. Pull up today. Love Day continues. I'm about to go do some father shit. Let me hear something. Let me hear something. Hear something. Bars. Bars. Shit. Shit. Here's... What a game change. Here's what a game change. That's right. All right, we out of here, y'all.